Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you one tool that will transform your productivity. But first things first, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Let's get started with this video. Okay, so productivity. It is the number one most important part about any business because if you're not productive, you're just going to plateau, fall off and end up failing. Whether you're an online business, social media marketing, brick and mortar businesses, any business whatsoever, if you're not productive, you are going to fail and that's the, the harsh reality of it. So what do we do when we're first starting out? What do we try and do to stay productive? We build a to-do list or I certainly did and actually I should have my to-do list here somewhere. One second. Ah, <laughs> okay. Um, I <laughs> I found the list. Note to self: when um, when using a prop for a video, keep it nearby. Um, that's this is the to-do list that I used when I first started. You see, there it says, "Come on, get it done." I uh, I bought this off Amazon. It's like two pounds. It's just a normal little paper pad. You can like take bits off, and chuck it in the bin. Um, and this is what I used when I first started. I would wake up every morning and I would write a list of all the tasks I wanted to achieve. There's like a date, task, there's a priority, add one, two, three, and there's a little tick done list. And uh, it worked really, really well, uh, really well for about seven days. Um, because I couldn't keep it up. And I think this is the problem with writing to-do lists on paper because they're not liquid. You can't take them with you, or you can, but you don't really want to carry this around everywhere with you and keep looking back on a bit of paper. And I also like to keep my, my desk quite clean. So I didn't like having this just like on my desk every day and like keep looking at it. So what I, used to, what I started doing is I would put this in my drawer and, um, and over time, some mornings, I just wouldn't take it out of my drawer. I'd just forget to. And so the list got dated and uh, I stopped using it and I just gave up on it in the end. And it's kind of sometimes gets brought out every now and then. Um, but it isn't the most productive way to work. Let's, uh, let's put it as that. So um, what actually happened at the start of my business is I started procrastinating a lot. I had no clear direction. I knew where I wanted to get to but I didn't have like a plan of how I was going to get there. I was just kind of plugging through. Um, but I am certain that I could have got to where I am now much, much quicker. Even though it was quick growth, I could have got there much quicker if I stayed more productive on some days which I, where I just like procrastinate and watch videos all day. Uh, so what I thought was, I thought to myself, maybe if I stopped using paper and maybe I moved on to digital, then I would be more productive. So I looked on to, into note software. I tried Evernote. Um, I'd seen a lot of people using Evernote, so I downloaded it on my phone and on my Mac, and I liked the idea that they were synchronized together. And uh, the same thing happened. I started using it, and after a couple of days, I like maybe I had one day where I didn't use it, and then like any habit, once you break it, the cycle kind of goes to shit and um, I stopped using it. And uh, again, I just started writing notes on like random, I think I've uh, even this notepad, I still do. I've, I've got like loads of random notes on this notepad. I can't even tell you what half the stuff is on this page. And I'd write a note down and then I'd like write on a new page and I'd completely forget about what I've written down. And it's just a really messy way of organizing yourself. And I did this all the way up till the start of July. Um, where I was speaking to a business contact of mine and I was talking to him about the issue and talking to him about procrastination. I said to me, Jordan, have you heard of Trello? And I'd heard of Trello, but I didn't really know what it was. I'd heard that some people were using it to stay productive, um, but I hadn't used it before. And so I, uh, I was open to the idea and I did say that, I, yeah, I tried like Evernote and things like that before. And he said, no, just trust me, just use this software, use Trello, I use it for a week and let me know how much more productive you are. And so long story short, I gave it a try and I've used it every single day since. Now it's a very, very simple online productivity software, but it just works because the functionality is perfect for what I need it for and what you guys watching this will need it for as well. So what I wanna do in this video is I want to very briefly, I'm not gonna go into detail here because you can, you can play with this yourself, it's so easy to use. 
I want to very briefly show you and teach you the basics of Trello and how you can use it to your advantage within your social media marketing agency or any online business that you are working on right now. So we're gonna jump onto the Mac and uh, let me just get it open. Okay, onto the Mac. So this is Trello. Um, this is when you make an account, uh, first of all, you wanna go onto your web browser and go to Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O.com and uh, make an account. It's dead, dead simple. It's free to make an account. Uh, you can even sign in with like Google and it is gonna bring you straight to a page just like this. Now, what you are looking at right now is what's called a board within Trello. Now, if you imagine a board is this pad of paper right here, a board is this whole pad. Now, within this board, we have lists. Now, a list would be each of these individual sheets right here. And within those lists, we have what are called cards. And the cards are the tasks that are on each of these lists. But the difference between this pad of paper right here and Trello is that each of these lists can be for something completely different. So let me just talk you through this. Let me just show you this actually instead. So once you're on this Trello um, splash screen, you want to add your first list onto your, your first board. And by the way, you can have multiple boards, multiple lists, multiple cards, and I'll go into that in a moment. So you, this, by the way, your background image probably won't look like this. You can change it to whatever you want it to be. You can have it as a picture of your dog or your girlfriend, or whatever you want it to be. Um, now, we want to go on to add a list on the top left corner here. And this is going to make our first, um, first pad of paper. First sheet of paper. Um, so let's call this, I don't know, to do today. Let's say we, uh, we want this to be, um, we want this board to be a productivity board um, for a to-do list. Let's say we have um, to-do or future tasks, another list. And let's say we make another one as well saying completed. Okay, so we're gonna keep this ultra, ultra simple. So we have got three lists here to start us off. We have a to-do list um, for today, we have future tasks and we have completed. Now we can add cards onto each of these lists, very, very easy to do, just hit the add card button and say today we want to write ads for Bojo's restaurant. I don't have a client called Bojo's restaurant before you start searching it and we're gonna hit add search, add card. Future tasks, I don't know, we need to call back Peter, add card. Now what we can do at any point is we can drag these cards onto each other's lists so we can move them over. You can't do that on a sheet of paper. Um, and we can also drag them to the completed folder so we can keep a log of all of the tasks that we're completing. Now, when I first started, when I first started using Trello, the uh, business associate that I have actually gave me a template for a ready-built for you um, Trello board, which is like the ultimate to-do list. Now, I wanna give that to you guys today. I wanna to give you this template for you guys to use yourselves because it has transformed my productivity within my agency and I'm sure that it'll do exactly the same with you. I'm also gonna put a link down below for you to sign up to Trello. Now, it is gonna be an affiliate link. I don't care whether you use it or not. Obviously, I'll be grateful if you do use it and I'm not making this video just so I can plug my affiliate link because I genuinely use this to keep on top of everything now. I even use it to manage all of my relationships with my team members, okay? I use it to manage my relationships with my virtual assistant. I use it to manage relationships with my ad guys. And just even to show you how I would do this, let's just say I have a new list here and I have VA jobs today, for instance. So this is my virtual assistant, um, it's jo their jobs today. Let's say that I don't have the time to call back Peter. So I can drag that job that card onto the VA jobs today. Now I can add members here. So I can add members to this specific board. So I can click that plus arrow there and I can type in the email address of my virtual assistant and I can add them onto this board. And I can teach them that every single task which is on this specific list, VA jobs today, that are, they are their tasks for the day. Now once they've completed their tasks, they can drag that job onto completed and I can keep track of it. I mean, you, you get the drift, it is so, so easy to do this. And as I said, I don't wanna make this video in depth today, so I probably will make a video in the future going in depth how I manage my team within Trello and how I manage some other things as well. Like I even manage my client's adverts on there, uh, on here. Um, so I'm gonna take you over to this template 
um, which I'm going to be giving to you guys. The link is going to be down in the description. You will be able to access this template. It's a public template and there is going to be a button to actually save this template. It's going to bring you to this page once you click the link and there's going to be a button here like where it says Google Drive, it's going to be a button saying copy board and it's going to make like duplicate this board onto your account. So let me just talk you through this template very quickly. We have notes and new ideas, we have projects, we have today's tasks, future tasks, waiting for input and complete. So I've also put um, right down here, I've got cards, um, with, like you can see in blue here. These are just describing what these individual um, lists are for. So notes and new ideas. It's to add new notes, ideas, brainstorming items to this list. So when you have new ideas at the moment, I have ideas all the time, Instagram posts uh, for my own content or new adverts for my clients or new clients that I think I should reach out to. At the minute, I'm just writing a note down on my phone, but it makes sense to keep everything in one place and put that on Trello. If you're gonna have your to-do list on Trello, if you're gonna manage all of your team on Trello, then have your notes on Trello as well. So we can add a card down here. I don't know, like, new Instagram idea. And then I can write whatever the, uh, the idea is and I can add it onto my notes. And it, what that means is every single day once I look at this board, it's gonna remind me about that new note that I can take action on or that new idea that I've had. Then we have projects. So these are the, all the projects and goals that you are working on at the moment. So, not, so I, for one, I have um, my agency. So I have agency growth. So let's say client acquisition. Um, there you go, couldn't spell acquisition there, how embarrassing. Um, okay, client acquisition. Let's say I have um, uh, client adverts and let's say I have my um, course or YouTube videos, YouTube content. So these are, let's, let's just say these are three projects that I'm working on at the moment. I can differentiate between the three of these. So I can add a color, like you can see above, or a label to each of these cards. So let's just say um, client acquisition is green, client adverts are yellow, and YouTube content is purple, for instance. And I'm gonna revert back to this in a moment um, so you can see how I would use each of these uh, labels to make my life a lot easier. So then we have today's tasks. Pretty self-explanatory. Then we have future tasks, so tasks that we need to do in a couple of days time or a couple of weeks time. Then we have waiting for inputs. So these are tasks that you can't physically complete yourself at the moment because you're waiting on someone else or something out of your control to finish something so you can complete it. Um, and then we have the complete list, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory again. So let's say on a daily basis, we've, we've got all these cards coming in and we've got all these tasks that we need to complete and we have all these future tasks that we need to complete as well. And we have waiting for input. This Trello board is gonna to start to get messy. Even with new ideas, we're gonna have ideas about all different parts of our business. It's gonna to start to get messy and it's very important that we can easily differentiate between these tasks and what their, their purpose is. So what we can do is we can edit these labels and we can then give ourselves an idea of what project they correspond to. So this is how I lay out my uh, to-do list. So I would know that this card here is to do a client acquisition, this is to do a client acquisition, this is to do a client acquisition. I would know that this card here is to do with adverts. And you see where I'm going here. You can add labels to keep on top of individual tasks and very quickly you will be able to, let's say that you want to work on YouTube content today, you can look at your YouTube content project and you can see all of the purple tasks here that you need to work on. It's just a way to file this. It's just like having a file organizer in your desk and you have all of those nice little colorful tabs which tell you what task or what um, sheet of paper corresponds to what part of your business. Um, so it just works exactly like that. Now what we can also add to these tasks, which, which makes perfect sense to do so in this future tasks tab, is an actual due date for these tasks. So what we wanna do is we wanna click on this pencil here to this card and we want to change the due date. So let's just say this future task here, let's change it to post Instagram of me. Um, and we want to change the due date. I need to post this picture on the 6th of September at 12 o'clock. And we can save that. I can then see the date underneath there of when I need to complete this task. But we can take this to an even step further, okay? Because we want to remind ourselves 
or at least know when we need to complete this task on that specific day. So in an ideal world, we want this, this card here to move over to today's tasks when the 6th of September is, is coming up or when the 6th of September is here. So on the 6th of September, we want that card to be on today's tasks. So what we want to do is we want to add a bolt on to Trello, um, which is going to automatically move that card over to today's tasks. So to do this, you want to go over to the menu button here. So on the right hand side, you want to hit show menu and we want to add what's called a power up. So click add power up and now you can only add one power up whilst you have a free account on Trello and you can add as many as you want once you've got a a paid account. So what you want to do is you want to add the power up Butler. Now what Butler does is it's a really powerful tool which you can use to automate your cards. As I said, this is not in-depth Trello training, so I'm not going to go into the full power of Butler, um, but I'm just going to show you very quickly how you can move cards over based on their due date. So I've already got this already implemented on my on uh, my board. So we want to click on Butler over on the right hand side. This is where all of your power ups will be. You can see I've got Google Drive and Calendar as well. So we want to go over to Scheduled and then Calendar. Now this is where we are going to create the command. So we want to click Create New Schedule Command. Now we want this command to operate every single day. So every day, you can see how complex this is by the way, like how complex it can be, you can create like any command. You can like fully autonomize your cards and your lists and all of your boards really. Um, so then we want to go over to this move button here. So we want to move each card um, with a due date today to list and then we want to move it to list today's tasks and then we want to hit this add button here. So we have just created a new command through Butler which triggers every single day and it moves each card with a due date today to list today's task. Hit save and we can close that there. And what that's going to do is every single day um, that we have a due date um, on that specific day, it's going to move that, that card over. So let's just test this out. I don't know if this will work um, if we can do this for today. So if I set that for the 31st of August and save it, yeah, so it's not going to do it because it's, um, because it is set to run once a day every day. So if we just hit run now, it should move that board over for us because um, we're just manually pushing it to do so. And there we go. It's moved that board over to, uh, that card over to today's tasks for us. But normally it will do that every single day for you. It will do that once a day for you and move all of those specific tasks over. So I think that is a good overview of how you can use Trello immediately to work on your productivity. This is how I have been using it um, exactly like this. This is literally my exact list that I use at the moment. Um, so you want to have all of your projects listed out first and then just start adding your tasks and all your future tasks. And trust me when I say you are going to be so much more productive. Now let me just jump you over to the main camera. So. That's how I use Trello at the moment. That's the very basics of it. it. You can go much more into depth. As I said, you can use it to organize all of your, your clients, your, um, your team, and it is fully mobile responsive as well. So there is a mobile app on both Android and on iPhone, and you can access all of your boards on your phone, which I do regularly. I check my boards, and I'm working with someone at the moment on a new project, and they're on one of my boards, and I, they send me notifications through Trello as well. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. I know that isn't completely in-depth training. It wasn't intended to be so. I just wanted to make this an introduction to Trello so I could move you over from physical to-do lists to something a lot more powerful and a lot more complex. And even though it is more complex, it is just so much more productive. Um, as I said, there is going to be an affiliate link in this description. If you don't use Trello already, smash that link for me and sign up today and use it. And there is also going to be that template down below for you as well. So once you've made a Trello account, click on that template link and you'll be able to use the exact to-do list that I'm using. Okay, guys, I hope you got value from this video. Please do share it with someone who you think will get value from it as well, someone who's struggling with their stupid little paper to-do lists. And I'll be back again with a new video on Tuesday next week. Cheers, guys.